I'm sure you've seen it. Designs in software that are beautiful. My word for it is elegant. You may have a different word for it. It, it captures the essence of whatever it is it's modeling. But how do we do that? How do we create that? That's what we're going to talk about. So stick around. Hello world. I'm David Scott Bernstein. Great design is at the heart of all great software. And creating a fundamentally usable, clear, and understandable design is essential for a maintainable system. And I'm quite surprised that many of these techniques are not very well known, but ones that I've seen used by experts, and I want to share some of them with you. But before we dive into good design, let's talk about what is good code, you know? And I think that a lot of us have different opinions on that. I've asked thousands of software developers this question, what is good code or what is technical excellence? And I get a lot of like, not blank stares, but thoughtful looks. Not a lot of answers though, you know, because it's not something that we address all the time or talk about. If we were to actually compare notes as professional software developers, we would see that <laughs> we're on very different pages, many of us. It's okay because, you know, there, there's room for that in our industry. But at the same time, having that common ground, those common touch points is so critically important, especially in, in terms of practices and what our foundational concepts are. You know, what's important? So what is good code? What is technical excellence? Those, I think, are critically important questions and questions that we don't ask enough in the industry, among each other individually. So I want to ask that question. What is technical excellence? What does that mean to you? And I, I want to share with you some of the things that I've heard other people say. Technical excellence is code that's easy to understand and straightforward to work with. Perhaps that embodies my best views on it. I like Ward Cunningham's description of what good code is, which is um, kind of code that you'd kind of, as you're reading along, it does what you'd expect, you know, it's kind of like, oh, obvious and really clear. It's kind of wonderful when you read code like that because it lays things out and it's like, oh yeah, you know, the truth is plain and simple, right? But what we want to do is really discover what the principles of good software development are, what the, what the discipline of software is. And that's different than the industry of software, obviously, right? <laughs> the, the discipline of chemistry and the study of organic and inorganic chemistry is fundamentally different than the chemical industry, right? <laughs> Same thing in software. And we don't really have the discipline worked out yet very well. There's computer science, and I would argue that computer science is not what most of us do. We don't build compilers and Yes, we do need to understand the nuts and bolts of, of software, the basic ideas behind it. But there's many, many other ideas beyond just the basics. It's like, I don't know, it's like insisting that we become, you know, computer repair people. And, and that, that's the qualification for, for being a software developer. I mean, it's just about that bad. It's great that we understand languages and syntax, but there's so much more to it. You know, just like literature, right? There's a lot more than grammar and vocabulary to literature. You, no one would be like, oh, I'm going to go off and write the great American novel. I know 5,000 words and, you know, it doesn't mean much. <laughs> it's how we put them together. And those, those ideas come with practice and with having some core concepts, some fundamental understandings about what software development is. And I think we have a very, uh, our society has a very distorted view of that. We think that software development is very logical and analytical, and indeed it is. But in order to write good software, in order to write software that's not redundant, that's not a mess, we have to really develop the abstract side of thinking, the visualization side, the right brain, you know, which is typically what artists and creators develop. It, I think maybe some people in the software industry, some 
programmers who will be surprised <laughs> when I say to them that their their work is extremely creative and that they they rely on the same faculties, the the same mental constructs or 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 uh, systems that artists use visualization the ability to abstract and that's really at the core of what a good design is right we're talking about what is a good design and one of the most fundamental things in a good design is having the right abstractions because this gives us the flexibility to extend our systems in the right ways but i get ahead of myself